So, you got a Hellhound Slayer task and you're not sure what the best way to kill them is? I'll quickly show you in this video. Hellhounds have a combat level of 122. They are pretty accurate, so you'll probably want to use either some tanky armor, like Torags or Bandos, or use a set of Proslite armor for the extra prayer bonus, so you can camp protect from melee. You can of course also go for a ranged setup with a crossbow or a blowpipe to safe spot them, preventing you from taking any damage at all. Any weapon will work well, as they have no defensive stats, so just bring the best you've got. If you've got a massive stack of ancient shards, you can also use the arc light to kill them, but I wouldn't recommend it, as you'll probably need those charges for Cerberus, Abyssal Sire or Demonic Gorillas in the future. There's a couple of great places where you can kill them, depending on what you want. The most efficient place to kill them is actually in the Wilderness Slayer Cave. You can get there by running west from the Ferox Enclave or with the Obelisk teleporting system. They are located in the east of the cave, close to the 20 line. You are of course at risk of getting PK'd here, so you might want to downgrade your gear to something like Rune Boots and Gloves and a Legend's Cape. The great thing about killing them here is that it's a multi-combat spot with 5 Hellhounds in the area and you can set up a cannon here. If you've got one of the wilderness weapons like the Vigora's Chain Mace or the Crossbow, you can expect XP rates of up to around 50k per hour. Slap on an imbued Ring of Wealth to double the drop rate of hard clues in the wilderness and you'll be doing a hard clue every 5 minutes if you want to. If you don't want to risk your ass getting PK'd, your next best spot to kill them at is Neve's Slayer Cave. XP rates aren't as good as in the wilderness Slayer Cave, but still very respectable as you can also cannon them here. If you want to safe spot them with ranged or magic, this is a great place to do so, as you can get them set up pretty easily if you camp in one of these small passageways. Now, if your main focus is to AFK and you don't want to spend your money on cannonballs, a great spot to kill them is in the catacombs of Kurend. You can get there by unlocking the teleport spell and with Xerxes Talisman. Enter the dungeon beneath the statue, run a bit west and then a bit north, and here you can find a fuckton of hellhounds, which will remain aggressive for about 10 minutes. So you can relax here for a good while and constantly be in combat, and after the aggression timer runs out, quickly teleport back to the statue and re-enter the dungeon. I particularly like this option if I have some other stuff to do on the side, as it gives a nice amount of ancient shards and totem pieces. Now I just wanted to quickly mention Nightmare Zone. I actually thought you could complete your Hellhounds task by killing bouncers in Nightmare Zone, but it seems like this guy doesn't count as a Hellhound for some reason, so yeah, this won't work. Uh, I just wanted to add that in here so you don't make the same mistake as me. What will work, however, is killing Cerberus. So if you want to make some more profit out of your Hellhound task and you've got at least 86 or 87 Slayer, you can actually start killing them by using the Wild Pie to boost your Slayer level. I'll put up a Cerberus link at the end of the video, but first let's have a look at the rewards. Now for the rewards of your average Hellhound task, you can expect to get a ton of Vile Ashes, which are worth next to nothing, but you can offer these for some passive prayer XP, 25 each, or bring an Ash Sanctifier to automatically offer them for 12.5 XP each. You can also expect around 2 to 3 hard clues per task, increased to 4 to 5 if you kill them in the wilderness with your imbued Ring of Wealth. So the loot is pretty abysmal, unless you're in the mood for some clue hunting, but the XP rates, especially with the cannon, are amazing, and you can do Cerberus if your Slayer level is high enough and you're in the mood. So I give this task a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching, my guide. See ya!